Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 137, single number 2. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic on the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given a nums array where we need to find an element which appears once. So all the other elements will appear thrice, right? We need to find an element that appears only once. So we need to write an algorithm which is order of n time and it should have a constant space, right? So we are going to solve this problem using a bit manipulation technique. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially I will be having two variables, ones and twos, where it will be initialized as zero at the start. So here the ones variable will give me the element that appears once in my input array. So initially I will pick the first element from the nums array that is two, so now I'm going to update the once variable, right? So to update that, I'm going to do XOR operation between the once variable and the currently picked value 2, right? So the binary representation of 0 is zeros. That is going to be four zeros. Then binary representation of 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. So in the XOR operation, when the values are different, it will be 1. If the values are same, it will be 0, right? So here it will be 0 and since the values are different here, it will be 1 and here it will be 0, right? Now we need to find the complement of the variable 2. So the variable 2 has 0. So we take the binary representation of 0. Now we need to take complement of these values. So we need to flip these digits. So we are going to have 1, 1, 1 and 1 right so we are going to use this value to perform and operation on the previous answer that we got so here it will be 1 1 and 1 so here 0 1 it's going to be 0 1 1 it will be 1 and 0 1 it will be 0 and 0 1 will be 0 so here we have 2 this will be updated in my once variable so here we are going to have 2 so similarly we need to update the variable 2 so we need to perform XOR operation between 2 and the current value that is 2, right? So we have 0 and the binary representation of 2. And if I perform XOR operation on this, we are going to get 0, 1 and zeros, right? So now to update the variable 2, we need to take complement of 1. So the binary representation of 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. And we need to flip these digits, right? So we are going to get 1, 1, 0, 1. So we need to use this to perform the AND operation, right? So here we are going to get zeros. So 0 will be updated as my variable 2s. So now we pick the next value, which is 2 again. So we need to perform XOR operation between 1s and the current value. So here both are right since all the digits are same we are going to get zeros right now we need to take the complement of twos so here we have zero and the complement of zero is going to be one 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 and one so we are going to use this to perform and operation here we are going to get zero again so we need to update this as my ones so we are going to have zero now we need to perform XOR operation between 2's variable and the current value. So here 2's variable is 0 and the current value is 2. So here it will be 0. Since the values are different here, it will be 1. Rest will be zeros. So now we need to take the complement of 1's variable. So here since we have 0, it will be all 1's. Right? So here it will be 0. 1 and 1, it will be 1. Rest will be 0. So now this will be updated as my 2's, which is nothing but 2. This is a representation of 2, right? So it will be 2. So now we pick the next value, that is 3. So we need to perform XOR between 1's and the current value. So here it will be zeros, and the current value is 3. If I perform XOR between these two, it will be 1, 1, and zeros. So now I need to take complement of 2's. So the binary representation of 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0 and the complement of 2 is 1, 1, 0, 1. 
we just need to flip these digits right so here i'm going to get 1101 if i perform and operation on top of this we are going to get 1000 so i will update one in my ones variable so here it's going to be one so now we need to update the twos variable so here we have two and the current value is three so we need to perform xr here so we are going to get one and rest will be zero now we need to take the complement of one's variable so here the representation of one is zero 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 one so now we need to take the complement of this so here it will be one 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 zero right and if i perform and operation we are going to get zeros so i will update this as my twos so twos will be zero now we pick the next value which is 2 so again we need to perform xr operation between ones variable and the current value so here the ones variable has 1 so the binary representation of 1 then we need to take the binary representation of 2 so here the xr between these two will be 0 0 1 1 and we need to take complement of 2's variable which is nothing but 1 1 1 and 1 so here we are going to get 1 one and zeros so now we need to update this in my ones variable which is nothing but three here so now we need to update our twos variable so we need to take xr between twos and the current value so we have twos variable as zero then we need to take binary representation of two so here we are going to have zero zero one zero so now we need to take the complement of ones variable so in the ones variable we have 3 so if i take complement of 3 it is going to be 1100 0, 0. so we need to take that and if i perform and operation we are going to get zeros here so i will update zeros in my so then we have done with all the values in the input array we need to return one's variable as my answer so here we have the element 3 which appears once so this is what we are basically performing in the ones variable so the xr operation between the ones variable and the current value if the bits have appeared twice it is going to keep the bits unchanged also this is going to toggle the bits that have appeared odd number of times right and the reason why we are taking complement of twos here is that it is going to effectively remove the bits that have appeared twice and the AND operation between these two values going to ensure that the bits have appeared once and not twice, right? Similarly, for the twos variable, the XR operation toggles the bits that have appeared even number of times. So here it is odd number of times, here it is even number of times and it will remove the bits that have appeared twice and the complement of one will ensure that bits that have appeared once will be removed right and if we perform the and operation between these two will ensure that we retain the bits that have appeared twice and we remove the bits that have appeared once so it is just an opposite of what we are doing in the once variable right so that's all the logic is now we will see the code before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially, I will be having 1s and 2s variable as 0 at the start. So here we will be writing a for loop to pick each and every value from the nums array. Then we will be updating the 1s and 2s variable using the XR and the AND operation, right? Then finally, we need to return the 1s variable as my answer, which will be having the element that appeared once in the input array that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys